Less than two weeks from now, it will be playoff time in the world of high school volleyball. Teams across the UP and the state have just a few matches left between now and then. Two teams from the Great Northern Conference battled in Marquette as the Redettes hosted Gladstone. In the first set, Gladstone serving Courtney McGovern, sets up Hunter Vidala on the other side, and, well, there's no stopping that. Give Vidala credit for a kill on the play. The Redettes showed off their firepower early as to Gladstone. Callie Jensen would set up Lexi Hungisto on the left side for a kill right down the pipe, but Marquette still led the first set 13-9. Volleyball requires a lot of quick thinking, and that was key here. Marquette tried to tip the ball over the net. Summer Demuse comes up with a huge dig, and Jensen would finish it off. Nicely done. Point to Gladstone. That didn't phase Marquette for very long, as McGovern sets up Taylor Smith for yet another Redette kill. Marquette would win the first set 25-20, and the Redettes playing their final home match of the season would send their seniors out on top with a win in three sets. To the scoreboards, Calumet took down the Gremlins at Houghton three sets to one. With the win, the Copper Kings wrapped up the Westpac Conference title. Congrats to Calumet. With a 3-0 win at Iron Mountain this evening, Gwynn has captured at least a share of the Mid-Peninsula Conference title. Back to the highlights, Hardware was on the line as Westwood, Ishpeming, and Nagani all took part in the win triangular meet. We start with the matchup between Ishpeming and Nagani. Ishpeming's Molly Pruitt decided to send the ball over the net, and that was a good decision. That point to the Hematites. Later in the first set, Nagani serving. This time, Pruitt, instead of knocking the ball over the net, would set up her teammate on the left side, and Miss Jessica Spencer would take care of the rest. Ishpameen had a 12-8 lead. Nagani would keep Ishpameen within reach. Rosalie Anderson goes across the court to Katie Lambert, and she would get just enough on the ball for it to, well, fall to the floor. Point to the minors. Now serving, here's Nagani's Rosalie Anderson. And you know what? Sometimes it's nice to get a little help and be a little lucky as she gets it there from the net. Credit her with the ace, and Nagani would go on to win the match over Ishpameen, three sets to one. Nagani also battled against Westwood in the first game of the triangular. Nagani and Westwood played the first match, and the Miners would get off to a good start thanks to Emily Locken being very aggressive at the net. The great play continued for Nagani early. Jada Johnson gets credit there for the ace. Nagani would cruise out to an early 3-0 advantage, and the Miners weren't done quite yet. Off the Westwood bump back, Johnson would set up Rosalie Anderson on the left side for the KILL kill. Westwood would get credit for a point coming up here, thanks to a nice return shot from the back row of all places by Sarah Connery. In the end, Nagani would win the match in three sets over Westwood, so the Miners went 2-0, and they are your win-meet champs, winning the trophy for the first time since 2010. Congrats to the Miners. In the other game at the Triangular, Ishpameen defeated Westwood in four sets to salvage a split. Another scores on the hardwood. Forest Park and Kingsford each picked up a 3-0 win over their opponents, West Iron County and Escanaba.